Hey guys, welcome back to Study Collab. Today I'm showing you how to write neat and effective notes. In this video, I'm going to go more into detail how I write notes out of a textbook, so I'm going to be using my math notes as an example. The following are some of my note-taking essentials that I always use whenever I write notes. This is really up to your preference, but I like to use a black pen, and this one's a 0.5 gel pen from Muji. And then for my headers, I always use this small brush pen from Notebook Therapy, and also a thicker fine liner from Faber-Castell. I also like to always have some white out and also a ruler, because this really helps with making your notes neat. Finally, my last note taking essential is either to have a Tombow brush pen, mild liner or any highlighter of the sort, and this is just to add some colour and highlight the key points. Sort of leading on from that, a tip I have for you is to designate one colour per topic. This will really help you to both organise your notes, but also make sure they don't get too confusing with all these different colours, which can also ruin the point of highlighting the key points in the first place. So to start, I take the subtopic that's written in the textbook, so in that blue bar there, and then I write that straight onto my paper with a brush calligraphy pen. If you want to spice up your notes a little bit, you can take a fine liner and alternate between using that and also the brush pen to create different headers and titles and make your notes more interesting. Once I've written that, I always take the coloured pen, so in this case a Tombow brush marker, and I take the thicker side and draw a line underneath it, but sometimes I also like to take the thinner side and alternate between thick and thin lines, but you can sort of decorate it however you want to. And these are just some examples of other banner decorative things I like to do to the titles up the top. So a lot of the time when you're writing from the textbook, there's a lot of writing there and it can be sort of overwhelming. But if you're looking at the textbook and wanting to write the key points, I would say look at the bolded parts and also the diagrams because usually they can explain things a lot more simpler than writing a whole paragraph about it. So in this example here, I'd write that bolded sentence underneath, write the formula there and also draw the diagram. Once I've written that down, I also like to take the highlighter and highlight the bolded parts and also underline any formulas. For subjects like maths, it's always good to write down a full worked example in your notes. This is just so when you come back to review them later on, they make more sense because having just formulas and sentences might not make a whole lot of sense in terms of how to use them properly. So if you have a full step-by-step -step of how to do a certain type of question, you're also more likely to remember the information when you come back to revise. So in my case, the work example is already written for me in that blue box. However, if your textbook doesn't have this, you can always write down any worked examples that your teacher goes through together on the board. But also remember that these are your notes, so you can tailor them to however you like because you're most likely going to be the only one looking at them, so they only need to make sense for you. So in the work example, if you don't need to write down every single step because you already know it, then don't write it down because it's just going to waste more time and it's not going to be beneficial to your revision. So in saying that, it's also good to use symbols, abbreviated words, and also don't write full sentences because it's just going to take a lot of time. Once I've finished that page, I just work my way through the textbook, repeating the same steps. To make things stand out, you can draw boxes around them, highlight them, or underline. Here is a little close-up of the notes that I've written in this video. And that's about it for this note taking video. I hope some of these tips were useful and you're able to use them in your own notes and let me know how it goes down below in the comments. 
Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you in our next one.